What's going on? <clears throat> Looks like summer has uh, shown up for a second. I think. You never know down here. Heading out of town, and I thought I would do this video. Yeah, I, I work internationally. Just to let you know, I work internationally. Um, big, big changes. First of all, I want to say welcome. Thanks to all the new folks on the channel. Appreciate you. And there's uh, some big changes that are coming. Big, big changes. At this juncture, by the time this video gets up, everyone should know, hopefully you should know, I've closed down all of my paid Facebook groups. They're all gone. They went bye-bye. Because I didn't like a few things. The training is still going to be there. I'll get to that in a minute, but I'm going to just talk about a few things of uh, where we're going. But, yeah, you know, there are no more paid Facebook groups. Just uh, Hustling University. It's free to join. You can jump in. Vibrant community of like-minded individuals. I think you will like it. Apparently, a lot of people are getting the heck out of town on this Memorial Day weekend. I'm one of them. I'm getting the fuck out getting the fuck out. I'm escaping to parts unknown. But with the, uh, I, I will, you know, just like I said, it's going to be all over the place because essentially the core of the Hustle and Mindset project, which is coming back, is going to be how to make money and how to create your own economy and how to create your own products and business or services because I'm moving away from eBay and Amazon. I know there's plenty of people that are making a lot of money and it's like, hey, I made $1,000 this week. I made, shoot, I made four grand today. And you don't, they love it, fine. That's your thing, that's your thing. Knock yourself out. Enjoy yourself, young man. Enjoy yourself, young woman. I am not messing with it for the simple fact it's very hard to scale that stuff. You'll get to a certain limit and that's just where you're going to stay for a long time. I see a great deal of frustration, and there's a reason the system's built that way. My focus will be on how to start something from nothing, how to take the business you have to a higher level. That's where I'm at. And with that, this is I'm not trying to be indelicate. I'm not even trying to be impolite. But if you are a beginning entrepreneur, Many of the things that I talk about are going to be over your head. It's not because you're stupid. It's just because your perspective is not there yet. And with that, that made me really, really change how I'm doing this training in this business. There's going to be a lot of stuff for everybody across the board, but there's going to be two groups. There's going to be the Hustler Mindset Project, and there will be the Hustlers University. I'm going to amp up more information on Hustlers University, but... And there will be paid training, one-offs. Say you want to do 30 days, because currently that's the only thing for sale right now. Because I decided to just put a pause, take a few days off, and redo everything. Just redo everything, make it sexy, make you know, just really enhance my stuff. So that's the only thing that's for sale right now, and there's there's a few books, but there's more books coming. Is thirty days to twenty five hundred bucks. I can do that as a standalone course, and then there will be a link for that, and you'll get it in your email. But that's going to be only two groups, and I can tell you the Hustler Mindset Project will be expensive. It will be expensive. You will see the price and go whoa, and that's just it. I mean, I can tell you, it's going to be like 700 bucks for the year, 3,500 lifetime, if you want to do that. And then there'll be the stand one-off projects. Now, why is Hustler University going to be, well, that's the wrong question. That's really the wrong question. The right question is, what can Hustler University do for you? That's the better question, as the guy said in the IROC robot. What can Hustler University do for you? Hustle University is going to include coaching, special hangouts, special training, and due to the fact that I found some nifty new tools, way more interaction. And, you know, if it's just a small group, because, you know, there's, there's really a small group that is migrating there, that's cool with me. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. 
and then Hustle University, there's going to be special training there, but it's going to be a how to really pimp out Craigslist course or something like that. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff that's coming, and your best deal is going to be Hustle University, the, the Hustler Mindset Project, but I know people, and uh, there'll be a way more people in Hustle University, so I totally get that. That you'll be first access. So let's talk about success. Let's talk about really, really success because when I put up that video, how to sell shit, I did that pretty much as a, as a rant. It was a rant because so many people are trying to run away from the sales process, and you know there there are some people that was like. If you're selling on Amazon and you're selling on uh, eBay, you're a vendor. You're a vendor. If you also sell on the flea market and you deal and will and deal with clients, at that point, you're a salesperson. But if you're on eBay, you're not selling. You put it up, you keyword your item, and people find it, and if they like your price, they buy. You're not selling. You're positioning. And if you don't understand that, you're going to have a very hard time with what, what the sales process is. You're going to have an exceptionally hard time. That is vendor. You are a farmer. You cultivate, which is a great way to make money, but it's not the sales process. It's just not. And there will be much, much emphasis on the sales process. I'm going to, you know, everyone wants to know what my reading list is. I'm going to make that available in the Hustler Mindset Project. First, I'm going to get those guys because those guys are going to be. They get everything first. It's like when the movies come out and they're in the movie theaters, then Netflix gets it later on. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. So they may get some stuff like like the Wall Street Journal. If you read the Wall Street Journal and you've read your local news, newspaper, you may have noticed that you've read the same stories, but the Wall Street Journal printed up that story you're printing in your newspaper a week for earlier or sometimes a few weeks earlier. And a lot of people don't know that because they don't read. They don't read. But the the Hustler Mindset Project will be awesome. It's going to be very, very, very special place. And Hustler University is going to be awesome. It's a very, very special place. Also, I will be placing courses on Udemy. Now, if you're in the Hustler Mindset Project, I can just kick you a coupon and you can go right on over and you still get the course, you get to participate in the uh, community and all this other stuff. So there, the broadband stuff will go over there and then the special stuff will stay inside the Hustle Universe. Because you know what, what this, what's the first rule of Fight Club? There is no Fight Club. You can't even find the uh, Hustler, <laughs> Hustler Mindset Project unless you are there. That's going on. And let's talk about the books. Since the universe said, uh, we don't really want you to do that right now, I just started laughing and kept going. And I got a lot of stuff done. But the whole thing made me reevaluate my process because nothing like that's ever going to happen to me again. And it's the same feeling I had when I got laid off the last time in my life. Same feeling. This just ain't happening again. Which means... I have to produce a different level of thought. I have to bring my game up, enhance my game, enhance my value for you to make that happen. And I'm pretty excited about that. I'm very stoked about a lot of the stuff that's coming because I got a team now. I got some stuff that's built up. I've got I've got I've got people on the team, which is really, really cool. So let's see. Hopefully, I will not burn up while I make this video. But the YouTube, uh, all right, how to make killer money with YouTube book. It's the, the, the webinar stuff. They're still coming on. If you pay for it, you're going to get it. Uh, how to craft the life of design and of uh, design and intent is still coming. You're going to get it. It's just I had to straighten up all of this mess that happened when Get Response was hacked. It was like trying to cook in the dirty kitchen. Like, you know, ask Walter White about that. I mean, it was, it was just, I was like, I got to clean up the kitchen, scrub down these pans, put everything in the kitchen, get it dressed right, dressed, and then come back and cook. And that's what I'm doing. 
which is why you, you know you haven't gotten any emails from me for a few days you haven't seen anything because I wanted to get those groups deleted alert everybody that was in those groups that those groups don't exist anymore and give them the time to get over to the new place because you know people don't absorb content the same way uh, there are some people that will you know immediately they were already there uh, there's some people they're not going to move to the new spot until after the holiday they're not in town they're not looking at this stuff so for all of those folks to get their chance to get over there you know, we're going to have a special hangout with the uh, new mission of the hustler mindset project that's coming and then there's going to be a broader hangout for you to tell you about the stuff that's going on the new curriculums and the things and it's going to be a heavy 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 i'm talking you know thousand pound deadlift heavy emphasis on sales i can't get to my tablet because it's in the back but i'm reading this book called traction and i'm just sitting there reading the book and shaking my head just like i'm in, i mean i'm in church well i mean it was just there were so many things in there that I, I was like, yes, yes, yes. And I just consider that a sign of being on the right path. Because if you learn how to sell, you will never go hungry. You'll never go hungry. You'll never have those problems of normal people. If you really learn how to sell, not be a vendor, push it on eBay, push it on Amazon. Because that's going to be problematic because that's a race to the bottom. <clears throat> You are better off creating your own products to sell on eBay and Amazon. I'm still not going to be a big fan, but I'm going to have way more respect for you because you create a product, right? The product costs you thirty dollars to make, and you can sell that sucker for two hundred bucks. It absorbs all those fees, and you still have a lot of green left over after the deal is done. At that point, you know you you only have to sell like you know you sell ten a week. You know, that's fifty five hundred six thousand a month profit that's good money that's good money and that's the where I'm at you know create stuff make stuff because look at my story uh, there are people here on YouTube in resale groups and they put out their numbers and their monthly gross is bigger than mine but their net can't touch my net my net better than your net my net is all right. I mean, seriously, because I'm just like, I would just kill myself if that was my profit. I would just kill myself because, well, you know, you've got fifty thousand dollars in sales and you got like eleven thousand dollars profit. I'm like, eh, that's I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I mean, you know, just me, I would rather have sixteen thousand dollars in sales and. $15,500 in profit. That's just me. That's just me. That is just me. You may be different. Govern yourself accordingly. This video is going to be all over the place, just letting you know that. But how does one free themselves from the matrix? A friend of mine, and I posted this in the Hustle University, and I put it on my personal Facebook page. Many people are trying to leapfrog over the ugly years. I did this, I actually said this in the videos, like, because everyone wants to race ahead to that success point and just ignore the bullshit points that come with success. Anyone that you have ever met who was really successful, understand they had a multitude of bullshit points. Failure, backstabbing, subterfuge, all kinds of stuff has happened to these people. But you just see, wow, you go to their house, it's like, wow, this is a really nice house. And you're like, oh, look at the garage. There's a Porsche in there. And you see all that stuff. And you're just like, yeah, I want to get that. And then you go talk to them. And then they tell you the story. And you're just like, um, that's like too much work, man. I mean, don't you have some magic jelly beans, bruh? Come on. Why are you holding out? Why are you holding out? Why are you holding out? In that kind of madness because essentially if you want to be successful you're going to have to embrace the W word work the W word work you're just going to have to work I mean you got to get to a point where 
you feel funny taking the day off because that's just your habit is to work, it's to produce, it's to make stuff, it's to not be worthless. And so many folks are trying to get past the bullshit part of this, of the hate, of the insane amount of hardships that can happen when you launch an enterprise and you put yourself out there. You know, I've had friends, uh, like my friend that I posted her stuff because, you know, I just took it because it was so good I had to share it. She had a situation where she had lost all her money and it was like September and she was about to hang it up and that girl went to work and she got everything that she lost back plus 20% by December. Let me tell you a story. I had my contract office furniture business and it was it was a really, really bad quarter. It wasn't a bad week, it wasn't a bad month. It's a real bad quarter. I was talking to my friend Mario and it was so bad that I had interviewed for sales jobs. And I had gotten uh, Orkin. I mean, Orkin was like, the guy liked me so much, it was just like, a, just a breeze, right? Becoming like a yeah, pest control guy. And I'm in Mario's office, we're talking. And I just tell him what's going on with me. He starts fucking laughing. He's like, Look, you gonna be crawling around under the crawl space of fucking his bugs? Who the fuck are you? I thought you owned the business. What the fuck are you gonna do is get a job? What? I mean, he started laughing hysterically, got on the phone, called another friend of ours, John. He's like, yeah, yeah, Glenn in here. He's talking about getting a job. Wait, 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 check this out. He's gonna become pest control. He's dealing with Fortune 1000 cut fortune 1000 companies selling office furniture now he's going to downgrade to pest control and he said you know if you're going to start your own pest control business i was like okay okay but you're going to be a salesman crawling around in other space and then with orkin nothing against orkin lovely company great company you can't have a beard mustache you can't have that that's part of the you know you got shaving shit so i left mario's office because he talked about me so bad I mean, he just, I mean, it was, it was horrible. I mean, he's like, he's like, you gonna bitch out? You just gonna shut your business down? Shit, everyone has a, you know, shit, I had a bad year. You got a bad quarter, man, the fuck up. <laughs> I, I left there humiliated and pissed off. I was really, really pissed off. Humiliated and pissed off. So I went home and I sat down in the basement and I was like, you know what? Fuck this. And I, I was up all night. And I crafted a plan. And I knew where there was some furniture I could get. And it was hard to sell. And I created a solution for that furniture. And uh, I had a really good month the next month. I was getting ready to chuck it in because, as Vince Lombardi said, fatigue makes cowards of us all. It really does. And that's where a lot of you are with your fatigue factor. Your fatigue factor is DEFCON 86. You're tired. You don't want to try anymore. It's just so hard. It's just so hard trying to be an entrepreneur or a hustler when you create your own enterprise. It's just daunting. It is truly a daunting thing to do. And you, you want to get in there. But it's such a scary, scary, scary place to be. Well, I'm here to tell you, get over your fatigue point. Stop looking at what everyone else is doing. And I will tell you from experience, when I stop doing that, my life blossoms. I don't compete with anyone else. I don't, I don't do that shit anymore because it's tainted fuel. I compete with myself. I was like, okay, last quarter I did this. What quarter? This quarter I could do this. That's the competition because... When you, you may be competing against a yard bird. You may be competing against someone who's a criminal. <laughs> I mean, you don't know the whole deal. You don't know what's in the whole bag. And this is insane. What's going on here? But learn to, 
I guess the uh, the saying is get your courage up, learn how to weather those storms because they're coming. Those storms are coming. There is no, oh, we're not coming. Um, storms are not taking the day off. The storms are coming. The days are going to be long sometimes. They're going to be ugly. They're going to be scary. They're going to be really, really bad. It's going to be some really, really bad days. And you better take your little... Ah, cool. I'm in here. Yes, I'm Bogarden with a capital B, bitch. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're driving and there's a, a long line of traffic, and I'm like, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 cars, I learned this when I was in the military. Like road marching, if you've ever been in the military, if everyone's not keeping up, it creates lag. And the further back you are, the longer the lag. If there's a group of cars, there's going to be somebody that's not going to keep the line tight. And you can always just about, I mean like 99.5%, like I've done this twice today, 95% of the time, Bogart your way in toward the front. But you know, if you don't take chances, you wouldn't know that. But with the fatigue deal, you, you have to really, and this is why I tell people, I tell my clients, you got to have a big goal. You got to have something bigger than money. You got to have that thing that something that, I mean, money is just how you keep counting what you're doing that it's just it motivates you it drives you like you know i've got this this big goal of um, my life and the people i want in it and how i want things to go down and that's what drives me because it's so attainable if you have the courage it's not a skill set deal it's a courage deal it is truly truly a courage deal and when i stop competing with other people when i really stop and it, it took a while to be unvarnished. It took a while. It took a while because, you know, you're working your ass off, right? You're doing all this stuff. Well, let me step back five steps on that. You think you're working your ass off. Because there are many people who are under the impression that they are putting out when they're really not. I learned that at Rental Crate. I learned what fucking hard work was. I mean, no, that's... Rent a crate prepared me for the storage auction business because they were like Nazis, like, you know, do this, do this, do this, accountability, accountability, accountability. And, and I left there and it was just part of my DNA. So, you know, to Michael Shanley, I say thank you. But when you think you're working hard and you see someone and they look like you, they walk like you, but they've got that, uh, that Lex, they've got that house, they've got that nice, sweet, pretty wife, and you're like, why the fuck him, and why the fuck not you? But you don't know that he went out and killed a dragon for her and brought that shit home. I'm gonna tell you something, fellas. If you know how to kill a dragon, you can get that princess. Whatever that dragon is, and you know, it's different dragons for different chicks, but if you can slay fucking dragons, you can get a princess. I'm telling you telling you can do it so that dude may have slayed the dragon he may have given her a kidney you don't know the backstory but you are all up in the hate on the front story you don't know what those people went through and that's one of the reasons i stopped talking about celebrities uh no stretch of the imagination <clears throat> am i a celebrity uh i do get people who recognize me every now and then in public because i always i know the look it's like I've seen him somewhere before. I just can't place it. And if I don't wear my hat, it's like I'm fucking invisible. Like, you know, Ralph Ellison's Invisible Man. It's just, hmm, there was somebody there, but now it's gone. And uh, I just look at what happened to me, and it just really changed how I look at what happened, you know, how other people live their lives. I'm just like, I can't, I, you know, MC Hammer, I can't touch that. But when you start to compete intrinsically, when... You know, I don't even look at my own book reviews anymore. There was a time I was a crackhead. I would look at my, my sales sheet, I'd look at my sales, go on my dashboard, I'm like, ooh, I got sales. Then I go like, ooh, I got a good review. And ooh, I got a bad review. I haven't looked at that shit in months because it doesn't matter. What matters is I continue to create and produce. That's what matters.
I continue to create and produce. That is what matters. That is what creates the freedom train. And I look at it and I sit down with these concepts and part of freedom is having your own shit. If I had a book deal, and this happened to Tim Ferriss, Tim Ferriss's book was supposed to be how to live. The title of the book was like how to live like a drug dealer. But the publisher said, oh, fuck no. And they had to change the title. No, Google it. Look it up. He'll, he talks about it. That was the, like how to live like a drug dealer, how to be like a drug dealer. And they were like, uh, uh we're not doing this. And, you know, he didn't suffer because, you know, he made millions of dollars off his books. But, you know, since I have my own thing and I do have a partner, I should put that out there. I am in partnership with a few people now that I wasn't before. And it's a beautiful thing because it's part of a longer goal. I still have the license to do whatever I want. If I wanted to put, you know, I was telling someone like uh, the book title, and it's coming out, how to sell shit. It's coming out. And people are like, oh, that title, that title. I can do it in the G-verse. If that is not an indictment for you to get your own shit, I don't know what it is. You can come up and... My book titles like pimping uh, Craigslist. If I was I had a book deal, if I was with the publisher, those books would have been renamed. I get to do what I want to do. I get to work on projects I want to work on. I don't have some little short, bristly, mustached man going, "No, Glendon, you can't do it that way," because it goes against company policy. And then a, a little part of my soul just kind of shrinks away because it knows that I actually sold out. See, when you have a job you hate, we're in a relationship with someone you can't fucking stand, you have sold out. <laughs> you have sold out. But that's the big, big direction of what's going on with this channel, what's going to happen with uh, the videos, just a huge, huge push on creation of products, salesmanship, building economies, and that's why eBay, Amazon, I will talk about Etsy. I love Etsy because Etsy is about creation. And I know people are like, well, you know, they let people sell manufacturing. I don't care about that. If you want to get into a, a, a vibrant marketplace, and you create stuff, it's a wonderful place to make money. Because you can leverage that. You know, people get discovered on Etsy. I want you to understand, all these big companies are looking for products, are looking for ways to champion products. They're looking for hot shit. If you go on Etsy, this is what you do. You beta test it. You go in there, you make the sales, you sell the stuff, you um, make, you, you got data, you, you've, you've made revisions, uh, alterations of your stuff I mean mark my words the new way to get a traditional publishing deal is to write your own book and sell a few th thousand copies yourself that you know the indie uh, pile is the new slush pile that's the new slush pile yeah buddy and um, that's what's going to happen so by creating something you put yourself in the intersect point of opportunity I wrote one book I got a chance at a reality television show which then turned into a consulting contract on the back end I was able to do meet cool ass people and then there's that thing I mean anyone can sell shit on eBay but how many people can write a book a special shit special shit you know that's like lifetime accomplishment shit a lot of people want to do it but you know and, and people go there's so many people writing books and there's so it's not your book it's not your process it's not what you decide to share with the world because as long as you're putting out stuff because I'm, I'm excuse me I don't know where that came from that was deep in the belly too my uh, other channel's named Glendon Cameron Author, and I'm going to start putting up my writing perspectives because there's so much stuff that, you know, I am like the ninja writer. 
I am write that shit out, take your bad reviews, learn from it, move on, continue to write that shit out, and just keep pushing, 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 because that's where you're going to break free. Because I'm gonna tell you something real quick. If you can come up with 25 to 30 books in the same genre and they're good, notice I didn't say they were great, they're good, that can set you up for retirement. I'm not kidding. Uh, there was someone that was at the writers conference, I think it was in London, and these 30, 30 book, 32 book romance authors, they're all seven, eight figure chicks. And they're mostly chicks. Romance is like 99.8% chicks. There's a few dudes. And also there's dude bias. Like if a dude writes romance, he's going to have to adopt a female pen name. Uh, for the shit that I write, I got a chick's name. Yes, I do. Because when you read the reviews, I was reading this and it just didn't seem that... I saw it was written by a man. And he just could not convey the sensitivity that only a woman could. And I was like, Bullshit! But there's that type of bias out there. It, it is. And you know, and also another thing, when I do the more writing stuff, um, you can do a lot of testing with Amazon more so than you know. You can do a lot of testing because as far as I know, there's no limit to how many Kindle accounts you can have. Don't quote me on that because someone's like, you can only have one! Like the Highlander, there can only be one. You know, if you come up, I'm going to just shoot you. But I've got three, okay? <laughs> I have three and I do some testing because uh, I like to test stuff. I do a lot of testing here. Testing's fun. Testing makes the world go around. But understand, there's so many ways to make money. There's so many ways to really put yourself out there, set yourself up to just do well to really really set your life on fire just set your life on fire I was having lunch with a friend and we are just talking about this many people want but they will not do if you can start doing more than you want your wants will fall into your lap if that makes sense to you. When you start focusing on doing, because action is the greatest truth there is. Don't care what people say, what they do tells, says it all. Okay. Everybody's getting the hell out of Atlanta this weekend. It's kind of awesome. Yes, I'm taking vacations again and shit. There's some shit. Uh, if I hit this goal, I got a big ass goal for the rest of the year. If I hit it, you're going to see some awesome footage. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I got this thing planned. If I hit those goals, I'm going to do this shit, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to film it, and I'll throw this shit up on YouTube. But uh, I, I'm not there yet because I got to actually do some stuff. But just kind of an all-over-the-place video letting you know what's going on, what's in my mind. Uh, these things will be way more structured going forward. Because like I said, I have a new plan, and there will be many more hangouts because the hangout thing is kind of cool. And also, hangouts get you pushed up further in the YouTube ecosystem because I actually have less views because I stopped promoting videos because I'm going in a different direction and my AdSense money damn near doubled. And I'm like, the only differential was the hangouts. So, and then also, I was like not putting a lot of, I had a lot of videos that didn't have any, uh, didn't, they weren't monetized. So that was part of it too. But, a lot of this cool stuff's coming. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side.